That's true. Let me stand up. Okay, I'm not going to incriminate you right now. I one time jump out of a plane. Oh, did you? And then, she, and then came home and was like, hey, I just jumped out of a plane, but I'm fine. See you here. So, when, you know, was that your call or was it like peer pressure into that? No, yeah. I was, it, yeah, no, I, I decided before I got on the plane that I would jump out of it later. Uh, yeah, yeah. Super, was super scary? Or? Um, it was actually, it was, it's very scary. The anticipation is very scary, but the experience is actually very, <coughs> like, exhilarating. And even now, like, years later when I think about it, I can feel like, my hands, my palms, and my feet get like tingly. Like yeah. it's actually quite an exhilarating experience. It's the best way to get to work. <laughs> it is not the best way to get to work. No. I would not make that happen of how to get to work. The, don't scratch don't, that. Scratch yeah. that. No, right. but, don't listen to me. Okay, I'm gonna come way back here and get. You know what? I'm gonna pop Tom, up. You didn't answer that question, Tom. We want to know what you did. Tom. 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 My thing. Uh, let's see. What was my? Remember that whole instigator comment? Yeah. <laughs> Tell Tom. I'll tell you one that's kind of like related to it. Oh, so when the Dreamcast came out, uh, so I, uh, my mom's office is literally, the, here's the entrance to her office in the, in the home we were at. This is her door. The entrance to my bedroom door is little, this right here. So it's about a gap of this and this much. That's it. So the Dreamcast is coming in and I already had it pre-ordered and I wanted to go get it. And I was like 16 at the time. And so I said, Mom, I gotta get something in the car. And my mom doesn't pay attention to me or listen to me or anything like that, so it's kind of cool. And so I went to GameStop, and two and a half hours later, I come back. This is a midnight release, and I had school the next day, by the way, and that's a big deal with Asians. You do not, you get your sleep. <laughs> you know, where are my Asians at? Throw them up, you know what I'm talking about, okay. And so I come back with this giant, Game Dreamcast box because you know my 16 year old brain's like, well, you went ahead and got it, you, you can't not play it tonight. <laughs> so this is me walking past her office. I've got it. You know how that little kid tries to hide behind a telephone pole, but you can like clearly see him. That's what I do with the Dreamcast. I had it like this. I'm like, got the thing from the car tonight, and I went right in there and I played Dreamcast. So that was like the, on the legal side. That's like one of the most legal bad things that I did. But I used to steal, get into fights. I used to be an e. I used to all that. That's not good. That's not good. But I used to do all that kind of stuff, and it gets it goes further down in the rabbit hole. I'm really lucky that I've never been arrested. Uh, honestly, like I have all sorts of stories. Like it's like yes. a, a, a wheel of no, no, no. I I've watched those documentary shows about about jail, and I'm never going. Listen, we don't have time for that. So. <laughs> Joining our panel is the illustrious, multi-talented DJ extraordinaire, Greg Ayers. I can only be here for a second. I'm double booked, but people were like, where are you? I was like, I'll just come here yeah, for a second. Greg, what are the top three things you're working on right now that you can talk about? Oh, that I can talk about? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Donnie Romp is out, Freeze out, uh, Dramatical Murder is out. That's yeah. pretty dirty. That's right, I'm dirty. Everyone sounds great and free. Everyone like Greg and free? You know, Monica likes him so much she got a tattoo. Yes. She has a great tattoo. She does. Yes. Well, Greg, what's, the, what's one of the things that you can talk about that is one of the most kind of uh, coloring outside the lines things you've ever done that you had to tell your parents later when you were younger? Oh, that I had to tell my parents about later? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I know this isn't an 18 plus panel, but uh, I had a teacher I really didn't like in junior high school, and I may or may not have been present when, sorry, uh, I've got coffee jitters. Uh, I may or may not have left a prophylactic device on a doorknob, <laughs> and I may have stolen that from my parents' room. <laughs> and when I got you? suspended from school on the last day of school, my principal made me tell my parents what I had done. <laughs> So it wasn't I chose. I had to. The principal made me say. You were practicing saying doorknob. Doorknob. <laughs> you, never, I, you never know where that doorknob's been, especially Absolutely. in that teacher's class. Absolutely. Uh, you know what? I dig that. Okay, let's get another question over here. I'm going to come over to you, sir. Right here. That's a mighty beard. I can never grow that thing. Hi, right, what's your name? I'm Matt. Hi, Matt. Good to see you. Who's, what question do you have for someone up here? Uh, actually, this is a general question for everybody. Um, I'm looking to become a voice actor, and I was wondering what to expect when I go into uh, when I go into an audition. What are some uh, what are some things that I should prepare for? 
Um, you should tell them that you learned how to act watching videos on YouTube. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Only a side joke. I don't know, Patrick, has someone done that for you? No! <laughs> What are some of the things that, that this gentleman, Matt, can expect when he goes in? Matt, like a voiceover audition, specifically? Uh, yes. Um, usually you're going to be, well, at least for me, for my agency, I record most of my auditions at home. Unless you I'm should good. expect to be at home. Yeah, you should expect to be at home a lot. In Erica's home, yes. In my house, doing auditions in my booth with me. Yes. She's going to have you hold the blow dryer. That's going to be the truth. Yeah. Well, like, it's like an apprentice ship. She's like, yeah, I'm ready to yeah. audition. I'll feed you so much food. <laughs> yes. Max, do you have any? If you if you if you like go into a studio to audition, you should expect there to be you know it'll be you and behind the glass will be an engineer, a director, maybe like twelve producers or none. Um, and uh, and it's it's pretty chill for voiceover. You know for on camera. On camera, I don't know what to expect when I go in. I, I, the, the mood in the room could be, you know, everybody could be having a great day, they could be having the worst days of their life, and uh, and it's just uh, kind of a weird atmosphere. But in voiceover, it's always, I've, I've always had like a good experience auditioning, so. Matt, good luck to you. Happy Easter. Peace be with you. There we go. Hi, hello. Oh, good to see you again. You've got a question for these folks. Thank you so much, Mr. Abercorn. It's a pleasure to see you. My name, my name is Miles. I am um, freshly up at Northeastern with a uh, communication and media major. I am um, a former DJ. I drop it like it's hot. I, I really enjoy <laughs> DJ. <laughs> Man, it's excellent. Former <laughs> <laughs> DJ. And yeah, can I get the good stuff down the other? Uh, 104.9 and then addition to this one. Okay. <laughs> now on to, um, I hope this isn't too, too much of a sensitive talk. God, thank you so much. Yes. Uh, well, hey, you know what? You've been, you've always been a guy for me, you know? I look at Dean Grayman, it's like it's this mirror. It touches on complicated aspects of my character, and it just gets me, and I feel like I'm wrong with it. But anyways, I hope this isn't a sense of question, but I would like to see if I can answer. What are all your, um, what are causes that you guys care about, you know? What, what do you feel like, um, your uh, passion is for helping others? Like, what would you Motivates you to feel like uh, Funimation's a company you pay more attention to in terms of its uh, message if you're like, uh, just. Uh, you guys support good causes? Yeah. Things that you, you get excited yes. about? I love, uh, I love anything related to the environment. I mean, I know we, we joked about global warming the other night, but like, I think that's legit, y'all. Uh, <laughs> and then also, like, through anime, like, I'm really into uh, some of the more. The titles that are kind of pushing the envelope in Japan, like I was Inko and Yuri Kuma Arashi, and I love the message that is, you know, love is love and equality is equality, and we should all be equal and we should be allowed to love whoever we want. And so that's. Even if they're bears. Even if they're bears, man. Less than bears. bears. Horses too. Horses, yes. The better of the bears. Um, I, I like, I love, I love animals. Um, wait, wait. You like turtles? I like turtles. Yeah. <laughs> Path. So um, it's nice to go and just hang out with the cats and 